Hi, I am Dominic the Reader, and in this video I am going to talk about the Pushing Points Polystyne Kit for Modo, a kit created by William Vaughn, which is a great addition to your modeling toolset. It recently has been updated with some new features, and it's not only great for quickly assembling characters, but it's also really great for hard surface modeling. So, in this new version of the Polystyne Kit, after you have installed it, you have this stitches icon in your Modo Modes toolbar. When you click it, you get a pop-over. And when you click the Polystyne Presets button, it opens the Polystyne Presets browser. So, in this new updated version, all you have to do is select your preset in the browser and then select one or more polygons and I say one or more because in this new version you are not restricted to the geometry of the preset anymore you can select one or more polygons but ideally it should follow the number of polygons it says in the preset so 4 by 2 I'm going to first select that and now you only have to press shift F to have a pie menu and then when you choose left, it will add the left version of the Polystyne preset. So when you create presets, the Polystyne kit creates a left, and a left version and automatically also a right version. That is for geometry, which is not symmetrical. If it's symmetrical, then both versions are the same. And as said, in this new update, you're not restricted to that polygon count, so I can simply select four polygons and run the tool again, shift F, and you see the geometry now also gets added to it, although the polyflow is not as nice anymore. So I can simply also select one polygon, shift F, left, and again that I will be added to it. Now I'm going to cover the polystyne pie menu, so shift F gives you the pie menu and first one is left so I'm going to select 2x2 two two polygons and with this preset PPI4 selected that's 2x2 two two, shift F left and my left version is being added now if for some reason and I'm going to make another selection press shift F and choose left alt when you use your preset and something like this happens then you may want to use your alternate version now I've done this intentionally like this the alt version to show you that you could have this with your left function so in that case you should use the alt version so shift F left alt but in this case it's not necessary so left now right is going to insert the mirrored version if you want to so that's usually something that you want to do on the other side so shift F right the rotate version lets you specify an angle how to insert your presets so if I select for instance that preset over here make a selection press shift F and do simple left then it gets inserted like that and that depends on how you create it and I will show, show that later on but let's say that I want this to be inserted but at an angle then I can use the rotate function so shift F rotate and now specify an angle for instance 90 degrees and you see now that preset has been rotated 90 degrees and of course I can use also other angles so for instance minus 45 and then it gets rotated minus 45 just like that we're going to do control Z and you also have a drop function and this is usually best for complete meshes like buttons so if I select for instance that button over here and I only need so drop and I make, need to make a selection so you must have at least one polygon selected I'm going to select 4, shift F, 
and drop and now that button gets dropped in there it's not being merged it's just being scaled and aligned to the selection that I have made so shift F and I used the left function but it also just drops it did not merge it so shift F drop just like that so now I am going to cover how you can create your own presets now when you create your own presets then you have to make sure that your geometry faces the Z positive axis so it faces Z positive and actually where you put your geometry in accordance to Z positive or Z negative it will have an impact on how it gets inserted meaning that if I select this one so all of this geometry is in Z positive this will stick out of the geometry this one is all in Z negative and this one will get inserted into the geometry as you will see later on so first back to this one so the geometry needs to face Z positive and in order to create a preset you have to select the outer edges so I'm going to double click on one of the outer edges and it's these vertices which are going to be merged into your geometry with these edges selected I'm going to run the polystyne preset creator and later on I'm going to also use the polystyne preset cleaner and I'm going to discuss that so now first of all polyset, polystyne <laughs> preset creator and I get a pop-up which asks me for a polygon selection set name and I'm going to simply call it A1 press enter now I can choose a type which is standard or drop or Y axis so standard is okay if you want to create insert presets for the X or Z axis if you want to create presets like feet which are usually added in the Y axis then it's best to choose Y axis and if you want to create a preset something like a button for a shirt then a simple drop would suffice but in this case I'm going to use standard because I want it to be merged with the geometry press OK and it says your mesh item has been prepped for the polystyne kit OK the next thing I need to do is to save this as a preset and I can do this by right clicking on the item go to presets and do a save or even faster just click save presets in the polystyne tools which is even faster go and call this A1 and I'm done and as you can see in the polystyne presets now I have a new preset I'm going to select my cube over here hide that geometry so now with that preset selected if I make my selection shift F left and it gets screwed up so my geometry got screwed up because I already had made a preset out of that item and if you want to reuse this geometry then you first need to do run polyset preset cleaner so now it says your mesh item has been cleaned so I'm going to control Z to undo a couple of times and make my selection sets visible so because I had created already a preset out of this item it did add selection sets and if you double click your outer edges and run the polystyne preset creator remember that I said that it would use these vertices to merge well it's that set that is being used and if you reuse the same geometry over and over again then multiple of those selection sets get added and then multiple vertices will get merged and that is something that you do not want to do so or you start with a brand new item with freshly created geometry or you first run the, the polystyne preset cleaner so your item has been cleaned right now so you see in my selection sets I have no selection sets anymore and now I can edit this so I should again 
run my Polystate, Polystyne preset creator because my old one that had been added over here is corrupted, if you will. So Polystyne preset creator, I'm going to call it A1 again. Okay, okay, okay. Now save preset and call it A1 and override it. Yep. Okay, so now that has been overridden, I'm going to select my cube and now when I add shift F left now it should be fine as you can see so if you reuse geometry that you previously had edited or that you previously have turned into a preset for the polystyne kit then you first need to run the polystyne preset cleaner in order to reuse the geometry or even if you edit the geometry and especially if you edit the geometry then you need to you run the polystyne preset cleaner so that those selection sets get wiped and then you are safe to create a new preset. So now I'm going to create a preset out of the geometry which is completely in Z positive and since I've uh, edited this and used it before for a preset I'm going to first run the polystyne preset cleaner to make sure that I don't have extra selection sets and in this case there is no selection set for the current type so I'm okay right now so all I have to do is double click the outer edges run the polystyne preset creator call this A2 enter 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 make a preset out of it save presets call it A2 and you see that it has been added to my preset browser Going back to my cube, make my selection, shift F, left, and you can see now that geometry completely sticks out because it was completely in the Z positive. And the same, or not the same, this will, will go to the inside. So again, I'm going to first run the polystyne preset cleaner, no selection set, so it's okay. Select the outer edges. Polystyne preset creator, A3, enter, standard, OK, enter, enter, save presets, call this A3, get added to my Polystyne preset browser, select it, go to my cube geometry, select these polygons, shift F, left, and this one is completely inside the geometry. So this was an overview of the Polystyne kit created by William Vaughan, a great addition to your modeling toolkit. It's great for quickly assembling characters. It's also really great for hard surface modeling. So you are not restricted to characters, but it's really great for hard surface modeling, just like that. Also note that your presets do not need to be constructed out of one continuous mesh. So if you add, for instance, that one, Shift F, left, zoom in a bit. So we see you can add separate meshes to it. So if I go to a new mesh layer and simply double click on this preset, Shift A, hide that part by H you see that is separate geometry and height and when you create the set it's these outer edges like shown before that you need to run the polystyne preset creator on but as you can see you can add separate parts that will also be scaled and added to your preset.